Hello. Uh, <laughs> you can go from one extreme to another, can't you? You can have like um, a PC that looks like you've chucked a whole herd of rainbow unicorns into a wood chipper and then just, you know, set fire to them. Or you can have one that doesn't have any lights on it at all, um, like this one. Uh, this one is using a Cooler Master case. It's the sort of funky new one, the flat pack one, the Cube 500, this model is. And of course it's got no LEDs in it. Um, and you might get a motherboard that's got no LEDs on. And so when you plug your graphics card in, it's kind of annoying to have that GeForce RTX logo like glaring out like a like the bat signal. Um, so if you've got a pallet graphics card, this is actually a pallet 3060. Um, and any graphics card actually, but this one's particularly handy and I'll show you why in a minute. Then um, this is what you do. So this is not, <laughs> this is not ideal, um, but hopefully you can see just there where my finger is. The computer's powered off, so the light's not shining. But just there where my finger is, there's a plug in a socket. Uh, what you can't see very well is that the wire from that cable goes to this front bit here. Um, that's why I kind of like this card. It might be true of your card, but you can do all sorts of elaborate things like run software and faff around and but just disconnect the LEDs. So on this one I can actually get at it and I can see it. So I'm just going to get my Leatherman. It's going to be a bit awkward trying to do it um, with it here, but I'm going to try and do it anyway. And I'm just going to jiggle the cable and pull it out. So I'll just rotate it round a little bit like this. Um, obviously it's powered down. And I'll just get the Leatherman in there and grab the cable and just gently wriggle it. And that's oh, not the camera, why not? And that has disconnected it. So you can see that's the that's the LED cable there. So now when I power it up, the computer starts up, but um <laughs> the light doesn't come on. So you get a completely um sort of unlit computer. Yep. So rather than faff around with software, if it's the graphics card, the only thing that's there, then obviously in the BIOS, if you've got the BIOS, you can um, turn off LEDs in the BIOS. There's usually a, a section somewhere that lets you do that. But obviously the graphics card is another thing. Um, and this LED doesn't change colour. It simply glows and advertises GeForce RTX. So by disconnecting it, you turn all that off. So th this one actually, I don't think this one can be controlled. I think you can do it from within maybe the palette software. But again, that's a lot. You're running something just to turn the light off when it's just easier to unplug it. So anyway, so just for a bit of clarity, uh, this is the, the PC. Uh, as you can see, the NZXT Kraken has got a nice little display on it. But the um, <laughs> RTX logo is like, ah! in your face. So this is just for comparison purposes. This is with the light on and that's with it off. So light on, light off. <laughs> I think it looks better with it off. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments, see what you think. Um, if you try and do this and you break your graphics card, don't blame me. <laughs> Use a, a proper tool needle nose pliers, or in this case it's a Leatherman, grip it firmly and then just gently wriggle with a downward force and it will pry it out. Putting it back in is easier because the cable's got sort of, the metal's got memory, so it will kind of line up and you just give it a shove. So putting it back in is actually easier than taking it out. But obviously if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, please don't break your graphics card. <laughs> um, and as ever, um, liking and subscribing is appreciated and thanks for watching.